finally, my grass has regrown. Get off the grass. No, no, get off my grass. Not this again. Anyhow, I would like to take up your offer for a job. Beautiful, you should begin right away. Really? Thank you, Mr. Giovanni. Of course, Roberto. So follow me into my house, and I have your first job for you. What's going on? Ah, Anthony. So Roberto is now working for me. Also, my friend, have you begun building what I have asked for? Yeah, Mr. Giovanni. Should be completed in the next couple of weeks. Perfecto. Anyhow, so Roberto, your first job is to clean the front of my beautiful estate. Um, sure, okay. All the key spots are inside the garage. You will find them. I'll be back within the hour. Sounds good. I'll be finishing it before you return. Now, how to start this? Guess I could clean the doorbell first, but how is that going to work? Almost there. Almost there. Almost. Are you okay? Uh, ow. Yeah, I should be okay. If you don't mind me asking, uh, why do you have a doorbell that explodes? That, my friend, is a long story. But on to your next task, Roberto. I would like for you to clean the pool out and then cut the grass. All my materials will be found in the garage once again. Okay, I'll be right on that, Mr. Giovanni. Will he be okay? He'll be fine. Hopefully, he's able to do the tax without destroying himself and my property. What the bloody hell happened? I don't know. I assume technology past 21st century would work properly on water. I fix it. I don't know how. Hire someone else to fix it. Shh. Shh, 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 shh. Wisdom Rock. Is that you? Ah, the Wisdom Rock. I bought it for my brother's wife's son's ex-girlfriend's friend. Oh my god. It is you. I can't believe it. After so many years. I was six years old. My dad had just left me. I was alone in the streets, crying. I felt lost and alone. When I looked across the street, and there he was. The little pebble that is Wisdom Rock. I felt so happy when I found him. Like, like something had meaning in my life again. I couldn't believe it. The joy, the joy just overcame me. I finally had a friend. My 11th birthday. It was such a joyous occasion, until my drunk father came back. He came in holding that bottle of rum, and he said, Sean, you gotta put down that rock. You're acting like an idiot. And I was like, but dad, it's my only friend. And he was like, Sean, shut up. Quack. And I was smacked across the face. I'll never forget that day. It was the day everything What is he going on about? I don't know. It is just a bloody My rock. It's birthday. Want to get some coffee? No cappuccino 11. this time? No, remember, Friends it stopped the working. Oh, wisdom, yeah. The wisdom rock. If I didn't have him that first day of school, oh, man. I would have been lost. I was, I was so afraid going into school. All the other children, well, they beat me a lot. With, with Wisdom Rock by my side, I, I figured I figured I'd have some protection with me. I'd, I'd, I'd be able to defend myself a little bit. Boy, was I wrong. I got to school that day and, well, oh, they gave me the worst beating I've ever had. I was, I was lying on the ground unconscious for 
hours on end. I woke up and it was dark outside. I had missed the first day of school. But <sighs> okay, let's have to go it. back to see if he's still when there. When I woke up, would have been impossible to drink with these helmets, even if we just had coffee. Gone. I was alone again in this world. I was all alone with no one there. So I ran away. I never came back. Until now. I'm so happy to see you, Wisdom Rock. I can't believe we're together again. You, you've missed, you've missed so much. I mean, when I turned 20, when I turned 20, I finally, I, I had my first sip of alcohol and I got, oh, you should have been there. There was this one chick. Oh my God, she was, she was out of this world. Oh, if you could have seen her, buddy. But, but I, I digress, I digress. Point is, I'm, I'm just, I can't believe you're here with me now. And you know, I, I used to be I used to be all alone and, and so afraid, but you're here with me now, and that's all that matters. I can't believe he's still going on. On Batman, I'm an orphan. Really, writers, Batman? Yeah, go ahead, do it. <sighs> I don't get paid enough for this. On Batman, I'm an orphan. I was born in darkness. <sighs> no, brother, you only took the darkness as your ally. I was born in it. Um, what are you two guys talking about? Let me come with you, cause I'm Batman, and I'm an orphan, and I'm dark, and together we can rule the world! No, brother! Only one of us can be found in the wreckage! What the hell? I haven't even seen that one yet! But I'm Batman, and I'm an orphan, and I'm dark, and I'm Batman! I mean, I'm Anthony. Are you okay? Uh, no, 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 I think I need a drink. But you can't drink with your helmet on. Shut up, I'm Batman! Smoke ball! Does she realize we can still see him? I don't know. Honestly, we need new writers for this show because, like, this is getting ridiculous. This is, yeah, this is getting ridiculous. I'm Batman.